I find it very attractive when a man can own their femininity. Mm, when yes. a man is comfortable in their femininity, that shit is sexy. And like, look not- at Bad Bunny. <laughs> Come on. Oh, maybe I'm not that comfortable. Maybe- <laughs> with that. Like, I, like, you could. You, you don't have to put the, the skirt on. Don't yeah. you? Know okay, okay. Maybe like, that's extreme. You gotta- hey guys, it's your girl Eva Angelis. Jasmine Ballet and Cassandra Lee and welcome to look at us look at us why do I, I wanted to say B after that I don't know why get a, <laughs> look, look at, at us B. but I didn't want to say yeah I, oh. that word. I really wanted to drop it I don't know I felt so That's natural the B sure. word yeah look at us we could do it and then bleep it out ready look at us B I'm gonna just say B B Look at this B. <laughs> then you just sound like you're from New York. Yeah, look at this B. Look at this B. Yeah, what a good, what's good. Oh, she in her mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's how everybody talking in New York. No matter if you mask or fans. Is it B? I thought it was fans. Look at this son. Look at this son. Oh, yeah, I ain't son. <laughs> that is. Do they say fam too? Look at those fam. No, 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 no honey. Son and B. I mean, they do, but son not me. Son. For sure. Mm-hmm. Not son. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Is Not is really. it is it offensive when somebody suns you like you got sunned? Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, they say that. But is not. That, I don't know. Think it's. I don't it's think it's not, like a New York thing. Like but that. it's also not because someone said like was sun. Sun. Yeah, it's, 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 being sunned is not that. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Being sunned is like, you know, kind of like when someone's condescending. Yeah, or like whatever. Like ah, you, know, you just got sunned. Very familiar. Yeah. Exactly. So so it's basically, Cassandra suns you all the time. I sun you all the She'd time. She be trying to sun me. She be. Sh- and I'd be like, no, no, mother. <laughs> mother. Oh, I'm glad she took, she followed suit though. So it's, it worked. She was sunned. <laughs> she was sunned. You just got sunned. Like, I'm going to start listen. saying that at the crib. Every time I feel like you got sunned. Wow. <laughs> she just sunned you. Yeah, call her out on her sunning because she be trying to sun. She be trying to sun you. I only sun if you deserve it. Oh, <laughs> Kidding, kidding. She said, "You bitches is my son. I'm about to daughter you." <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, so now that we sunning each other and we all basking in our clearly our masculine, right now. <laughs> some more than most. I love it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> wow, because I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's even swaggy. It's yeah, even like swaggy. why is that mask, right? Because you're yeah, in a what was this weird? is mask because it's a t-shirt. It's yeah. got Rihanna. It's got Rihanna, yeah. All That's, the men Rihanna's lovers. femme. She's yeah, Rihanna's femme. femme. She'd be in her mask, too, though. Yeah, I love it. She definitely sexy. do. Yeah. Sexy I'm a sexy mask. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Definitely a sexy mask. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what does it What does it Not mean? Not all like, yeah, for sure. Like, all wish for <laughs> We're all like, uh, Ray, Ray. anyway, oh, we're on a podcast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so what does it mean to be masculine and f- feminine? The y'all. actual What's definition, the or well, we can look. We can look at the actual definition. I would love so to. What, look what does it really not mean? get? Not get a <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because you know, I correct it on here. <laughs> Disclaimer: We are not masculine and feminine like professionals, uh, gurus. <laughs> or no, yeah. gurus, right? we're just speaking all based off experience. <laughs> yeah, this we're is learning just, as we go. Yeah, this conversation <laughs> is is set up for us to also learn from one another. Period. Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so masculine energy is characterized by doing and achieving and is molded by logic and reason. Hmm. So that's what they consider ma- masculine. The feminine is more intuitive, oriented towards receiving and allowing and being characterized by being. Hmm. So just the state of being, I guess, is more interesting. Hmm. Uh, feminine. So women are more present than men, basically. I get that. Because men are true. thinking about the future and women are thinking about second. now. Yes, but is feminine woman? Is masculine man? Oh, well, I guess it depends on you know what I mean. Because mm-hmm. it's like feminine and masculine are traits that, in some occasion, you know, it's not it's not the rule, can present more in a woman or in a man. But there are some that feminine energy will present more in the gender of a male, mm-hmm. and masculine energy can present more in the gender of a female. So I don't want to say. A woman or a man. Mm-hmm. Wow, someone's going crazy. Someone, someone already got mad about the topic. <laughs> the sensing, the toxic masculinity over here. <laughs> so yeah, I can agree. I, I definitely agree with that. That some men can be feminine, <laughs> and so women can be more masculine. So it is right. kind of hard to. And no. it's not necessarily because somebody's gay or bisexual right, or right. anything. It's just 100%. right. 
what do you guys consider yourselves like are you mask are you femme does it depend on the day hmm I think it depends on the day <laughs> but I feel like I do live more in my masculine energy than I do my feminine energy okay what how give it give me an example what what that's like what is that what like me throwing on this pink shirt it just threw me off <laughs> this is like <laughs> I was like pink she's like oh I don't like the way this it's, it's looks, like, this is girly like you know what I'm saying like and I it's feel like, like I'm not myself but you you dress girly when you go out you dress, I dress sexy, sexy and, I think it's more sexy is girly well yeah but it's like I don't know I just don't feel like I'm girly like where girly is like to me like the brights the pinks the the glitters and the sequins mm-hmm. you know where it's like the like bows the, bazzle, the ribbons the <laughs> you know like all that kind of stuff like the, I like the Sexy, like the raw, bold, the, the bold, black, yeah, edgy, the edgy, yeah. Um, the hair mm. wild, you know. Where as in more feminine women, I think they like to wear their hair like more like pin straight or perfect curls. You know what I'm saying? Like they make sure their curls are really, really tight and not frizzy. Mm. I like more. Everything is just like edge. Wait, but so you're saying when you have your hair wild and you're dressing sexy, that's not feminine. That's masculine. I don't know that. I'm not saying that it's masculine, but I don't feel like it's completely. I mean, I, I guess we're right now. I think we're basing feminine and girly, so I could be. I, I guess it could be feminine, but I just don't feel like I'm girly. I don't know because I guess that's feminine is I'm talking about that's an energy. Girly is actually just the way that I don't think I present myself. So I think mm-hmm. maybe what you're saying is because you are a girl, mm-hmm. you enjoy girly things, but it presents in a masculine demeanor. So it's Perhaps. like, so it's not like I'm going to be girly, f- super feminine. Mm-hmm. I'm a girl. And because I'm a girl, I do enjoy being sexy. I do enjoy wearing skirts and dresses and heels and putting makeup on and doing my hair because you're a girl. A girl so you yeah. naturally draw to those things. Yeah. But because you have a stronger masculine energy, you dress that up with more of a dominance, with more yeah. of a boldness. Whereas yeah. I think a feminine energy in a woman that's leading feminine is a little more dainty is a little bit more exactly you know and and i could be wrong i'm not saying this is yeah i don't want to you know i could be wrong but i i relate to you in that way yeah yeah, yeah, so what makes you masculine exactly or that you feel makes you masculine i think the way i speak i think just the energy that i come well yeah because you speak new york because I speak yeah. New York. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so any woman who speaks New York, she, she masks. Like, well, most New York women are Bronx girls, too. You know, like, we be, look, like, we just be talking like, I don't know. Like, you know, you think, when you think of a woman, you think more, maybe softer. Maybe she thinks more before she speaks. She doesn't automatically like me i'm ready to come you know come at you like more dominant in the way i speak i feel like okay you know what i'm so saying you, you're more dominant with how you speak what else more uh, yeah I, I, the way i think the way i move i guess my ambition people would consider that more masculine versus mm. like femme even though i want to learn a feminine approach to like going after my dreams you know more mm. relaxed more trusting, you know, more being. More present. More present, more being versus mm-hmm. the whole, what I got to do next, you know? Yeah. So, I'm going to use that. So, yeah, so I think like. make a song out of that. Ever, ever. Facts. So, so, yeah, I think, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch more things that I feel like make me more masculine, but that's what comes to mind right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about you, Kaz? You mask or femme? I think I'm such a interesting balance of both, I would say. I think, though, I naturally lean more. Just, I think I'm masculine to the world, presenting in how I approach the world. Um, but I am feminine presenting and how I approach my relationships. Um, I think Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning this. I feel like this topic is, is not easily some, it's not easy for me to navigate this Mm. type of conversation because I've had such interesting 
um, partners who have presented this topic of conversation in ways I don't think were healthy. Mm-hmm. And so I'm learning how to unveil or, un, you know, because they would judge what's mask or femme. In right. Their eyes. And have an expectation of what was needed. And it's made me question myself a lot. Whereas growing up, I never even thought about masculine or feminine energy. I just was. And now as I'm a woman, now that I'm a single woman, I am by myself. I find myself when I'm alone, I'm very feminine. I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm going to do like a mask. I don't know, like I'm just present, you know, and very intuitive and very. And although I'm like that naturally into like intuitive is something I feel like I lead with. Mm -hmm. But I'm also masculine just in my approach to my work ethic, my ambition, my um, my execution Mm -hmm. is very logical, is very. Um, planning and 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 what, how you described masculine from Google. Do, do, do. Oh, or 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 your definition. What's masculine? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I like yours better. Like <laughs> you know mine. what I mean? Um, so I'm. I think I think from the outside looking in, it looks like I'm more masculine. Mm-hmm. And I think that you know that's probably very true. I approach life in a very masculine way. I think. Yeah. Um, well, you've also had to wear the pants, so like you know. Yeah, I that think, puts a kind of like a pressure of masculinity on you in a way. Yeah, yeah. I think there's also I I, I, I I wonder if I grew up differently, if I would have leaned more towards the feminine energy or not, because I also think that it's instinctual now at this point, N- not because I had to wear the pants in certain relationships that it made me more masculine. I think, yes, that's true. But I also think I have it has become second nature now Mm -hmm. because of how I had grown up. I wonder if I grew up slightly different, if it wouldn't be first nature or, or am I actually rooted deeply Mm -hmm. born this way? You get me? Well, yeah, probably (laughs) with like all the, um, the martial arts discipline too, maybe that that probably gave you that. That's one. Um, my father at a very young age instilled in me like, I could do anything a man can do. Mm. He always told me that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And he like, and he would always, I was always around boys. Always. I was the only girl on my soccer team, the only girl in the karate class. I mean, I had girls in the karate class, but it was, that took a while. Yeah. Girls started coming in later and Mm. it was only like three or four of us. And Mm. it was always with the dudes. You know what I mean? And then anytime I wanted to express my feminine energy, I was penalized for it because femininity was sexual mm. and I remember my stepmom would make sure I remember her telling me you're not gonna get pregnant under my watch like she was like so adamant mm-hmm. about making sure that she raised me till I was 18 and not having any any you know kids kids mm-hmm. or you know just oh I needed her STDs or anything <laughs> you know what I mean she was like she was like she put it in my head like you are you're not gonna have sex like I'm gonna make sure yeah. You know what I mean? And so anytime I had expressed wearing like a shorter skirt or dancing in the mirror and she caught me, you know, like any little feminine thing that I did, I was penalized. Like mm-hmm. she would mm-hmm. remove the clothes, any feminine clothes I wasn't allowed to wear. Yeah. And so she would actually take me back to the store and put me in clothes that were baggier to hide my figure. And, and so then now I'm thinking my curves are wrong. And I and any time a cur- any of my curves showed as a kid, I was now embarrassed because then I did see how men looked at me and made comments and whispers about my my ass or whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? So then I became insecure. Yeah. And so then I actually did start to become more comfortable in a baggy hoodie and baggy mm-hmm. pants. And so it's like something that just aside from karate had been structuring me. And then when I was old enough to kind of express my womanhood, I was like about 18, started going to the club, started seeing men be attracted to me. I was mm. like, oh, I'm going to show leg. Oh, I'm going to show this. And I started mm. to get more into my femininity as I got older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I think because it was so instilled and because of the previous relationships, like I, it's second nature to lead masculine. But I love being in my feminine back. Yeah. And I like to be feminine when I'm by myself and in a relationship. Mm. But I think definitely to the world I present. Yeah, yeah sure. like dominant or whatever. <clears throat> How about you? 
I mean, I don't know. What do you think? You're fem feminist. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> She's I'm like, pretty fem. Yeah. yeah. I, I am. I mean, but I feel like I'm, I'm also, I've been both. Like, I feel like growing up, I, I had both girls, girlfriends and guy friends. Like, even back in elementary, like, I'd play with the boys. The boys would, like, but it would be, like, you know, being chased at recess by the boys. But, like, I was the only girl playing tag with the boys at recess. Mm -hmm. But, like, always feeling really comfortable with boys, like, around, like, but, like, homies, you know? Mm hmm and so I had that and then like my, my guy cousins and things like that. Um, but I feel like I, I mean, I've always been more so a girly girl. Yeah, I guess I, I've just always been really soft is mm. what it is. Yeah. But then like, you know, certain relationships hardened me a little yeah. bit. And I and I realized I was operating from my masculine energy, even in those relationships mm. and outside of them. And, and like even a while when I you know, being newly single, I was very, like, in my mask. Like, just maybe it was also, like, survival mode, yeah. you know. It's all of it. <laughs> mm. And so I'm just, like, you know, I'm just thinking about, like, you we know, money. Or, like, how am I going to, you know, I'm not thinking about, I don't have time to be soft right now. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't have the heart for it either. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just, it's been kind of like a... A roller coaster, a right? A roller coaster, but like I, I, I like playing with both. Like, yeah, it's it's interesting. Even even when it comes to like like the skits we've done, and I gotta play a guy, and <laughs> and I feel like I can be very much in that. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I feel like like damn, like it's almost kind of scary. I feel so like there. that's a different character. That's not <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel when I be dressing up as you know for like lesbian homie and stuff. When I dress up as a stud, I look at myself like you saw me get dressed yeah. at your crib as a stud. And I was like, oh. Gosh, like this looks so realistic. You did, and I was just like, you did. I just like I can't look at myself that way. But yeah, I. But it is so much fun to play it. Yeah, just so to play with it is. Yeah, it's interesting. But I do love just I. I love when I can freely be and fully be in my femme, and when I have a partner like a man who makes me feel safe enough to be fully in my fam yeah. and just soft to my soft because I'm naturally soft. So when I'm not being soft with you, that's a personal problem. That's a you thing. Mm, right, right. <laughs> that's not because yeah. I'm naturally at my core. I, I am so soft. Yeah. So as long as I feel safe in the space. Yeah. I think I also would like to feel safe in the space to be masculine with a man. I think that men haven't even made me feel like it's okay to be a masculine woman. No. Oh. No, yeah. Like, I think that there's such an expectation for a woman to be so feminine. And, like, I haven't felt safe to be in my masculine energy around a man. Mm. I find that they get intimidated. I find that they get turned off even. And it's not like I'm like, come here, <laughs> come here, man. <laughs> like, I'm not doing yeah. I'm not. Come here, babe. I'm not talking to a man, like, come masculine. Here. That's not what I mean. Give but, me like, that. give me that meat. <laughs> <laughs> Run me that meat. Me <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? In the sense of like, because I don't think, I know for sure I'm so neutral with them both. Mm -hmm. I can't, I enjoy being feminine and I enjoy being masculine. I don't think I could be totally feminine. Yeah. And just be happy. I no. think I would actually be unhappy. Yeah. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. feel like I'm 100% myself. Yeah. But I know if I'm 100% masculine, I wouldn't be happy. Yeah. I need to be able to put on a dress. I need to be able to, like, get cute and go out. Like, I love getting mm -hmm. really feminine. Mm -hmm. I can't be one or the other. It's, like, like such an interesting, almost a 50-50 energy that I feel within myself. And most men, like, if I feel like being in my hoodie and in my sweats and, like, looking like a little boy, like, mm -hmm. that's, I be calling myself a little boy when I be in work mm -hmm. mode because I just put the hoodie on and I sit there and I'm just on the computer getting, getting shit done. Mm -hmm. And I don't want a man to look over <laughs> and, and just make, <laughs> not make me feel like that's okay. Mm, yeah, I've never yeah. had that. So. Yeah, no, I have. Yeah. So it's, it's. It, that's why I'm, it's made me question so much. But was that person fully in their masculine energy? They felt, they probably felt, what's the word, emasculated? Yeah, yeah, probably. Because, because they weren't fully in their own. So they're looking at you like, oh, uh, I'm intimidated because I'm more so in my femme. Yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just know, Thanks. I know I get shit done. Right. You know what I mean? And I know, I'm, I know how to progress. I know how to like put my mind to something and, obtain it mm -hmm. yeah. and 
I think that that can be intimidating to a man who maybe hasn't been able to do that for themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know. I just, I haven't yet found a man comfortable in their masculinity enough for me to feel safe to, to express my masculine side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That scares me sometimes. Mm. So sometimes I feel like I have to become feminine. And I want to say, hanging out with y'all has made me accept myself more again. Mm. Because prior to hanging out with y'all, I was really, really battling this. Yeah. Heavy. because of Battling how masculine you are? Yes. Mm. Really? Yes. Mm. I was battling it so much. It makes me emotional mm. thinking about it. Because of your past relationships. Yeah, I felt like something was wrong with me. And so when I would go to like Jersey and see like my homegirls over there, that's when I would be like, man, I, I just like, I feel like I can just like, put my guard down and just relax and just be with my friends and just not have to think about it. But there's something about like LA society and LA culture and just my previous relationships that made me feel like there was something wrong with me because I don't necessarily like to be fully masculine. Like I just said, Mm -hmm. I want to be feminine, but I don't like to stay feminine and not have that, the ganas que yo tengo, you know? Mm -hmm. And so hanging out with y'all made me feel like, oh shit, like there's actually people like me still. Okay, cool. This is not wrong. This is okay. Like, because I never see you both as as super masculine or mm-hmm. super feminine either. Like, I see. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're you're more feminine than us for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not like super feminine. No, but you're not like, so feminine that it makes me feel like, yo, am I being a whole dude here? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, you have moments where where I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of girls that I've met in LA culture that. They're so feminine. They're mm-hmm. so feminine. I'm just like, and you I feel, don't even you fit feel here. like judged by them basically because they're so feminine, and you feel like out of place. I don't know if I feel judged by them or if there's been such a narrative that's been built in my mind from the past few years that I come insecure to the mm. situation. I can't say that these women are judging me. I can't say that. I don't know if they are. Mm-hmm. But I definitely know I have a narrative. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Every day I'm trying to break it mm-hmm. so that I can be 100% myself again. No, yeah, I can feel you on that because I feel like that's like my current struggle. Mm-hmm. It's like trying to decide if I, not even decide, but like I want to be more feminine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be okay in my feminine energy and I feel like I live in my masculine a lot like where like not even showing emotion you know like certain things that like granted I I wouldn't say it all came from a certain relationship I think it came up also from my upbringing Mm -hmm. you know I didn't have like super um affectionate parents Mm -hmm. so my dad is very uh, like he was loving in the sense where he always let us know, I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys. And he was very, actually, he was very affectionate when we were kids. It's like after a while, it just wasn't like affectionate. He, but he always let us know how much he loved us. But I didn't have parents who were like super touchy, super cariñoso. Super yeah. cariñoso. Like, no, my mom is not like that. My dad is, you know, after a certain age, he's not like that with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think not seeing that and then seeing people who are like that. Like now, nowadays makes sometimes makes me feel like oh, it's something like kind of how you felt. It's something wrong with me, mm. you know. And then I just got it. And then sometimes I have to talk to myself and be like, no, nothing is wrong with you. Like you're just not that, and that is okay. Mm-hmm. But like I have that mental battle with myself sometimes where it's like, oh my god, I need to be more of this. I need to be more softer. I need to show emotion more. Mm-hmm. I need to, and I'm driving myself nuts because I'm like, okay, well, ugh, this is because you live in your mask so much. Oh, you need to stop being a man. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a, a little boy inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be like that battle. And I think, well, I know <laughs> that it comes from not ever feeling safe. Mm-hmm. Since I was a child, I never felt safe. Safe in what way? In my, in like home. And it's crazy because I journaled this this morning or like yesterday. Wow. So it's crazy that we're even going as deep as this. But I journaled, like, there has been no time or place where I have felt like this is home mm. within myself. Or in, in any place that I've been, like, I never fully relax, mm. if that makes sense. That's so interesting. Okay, I have two questions to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but before I ask the questions, the first one's actually just a thought. Mm-hmm. Hearing you say that as your friend, I feel that way about you Mm. you know what I mean like when I sometimes I I watch you 
and I see not like maybe it's like this like there's like an unsettling yeah ness you know what I mean it's almost like you're always looking for a destination yeah you're always looking for something Mm. and I and and I didn't know that Mm -hmm. I didn't know that that's what you're going through and I never I don't even know how to articulate it but then you said it's like okay this is what I've been kind of seeing within you and it's just like like she's searching for home kind yeah, of. Yeah, like there's always like this is it like this is it like I sometimes I question if you even feel as 100% comfortable around us mm. as as I feel with you. Right, right. You know what I mean where I I literally am just like, yeah, I found my girls. I don't I'm good. Like y'all are my friends. I'm good and mm. I really see this lifelong. Sometimes I feel like I'm not sure you feel that way. Mm. Same, you know what I honestly, mean? low key, yeah. high key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no, no, absolutely no, yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with that, and it's, and it's not like a, a pressure to feel that way. Right, right. Mm-hmm. It just makes sense now because what what's happening internally is you you're still trying to understand yourself and if it's something that you want to let go here in this space. Yeah, and if it's not then you, you save it. I'm going to save it till I feel like mm. I can let it go. So then you plant yourself somewhere else and you look around, is this the space where I want to let it go? And you're still not sure and you're still not sure. So then you're like, maybe not. And then you plant yourself somewhere else. So you're just holding on to you and not fully letting it go. But I wonder if you were to let it go, will you actually embrace yourself through the challenges of learning whether it's a safe space or not, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Like, even if it is isn't a safe space and you do, and maybe it wasn't that uncomfortableness that you let someone that fully in and you don't, and you're mad that you did because it wasn't a safe space. Yeah. You might actually embrace yourself even more that way mm-hmm. than protecting it mm. for so long. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like thinking about it. Yeah. That's, um, that's a good observation. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying she's guarded. I mean, everybody knows that. <laughs> no, yeah, I guess. I, but I don't even think, I don't even consider but, it as a guard. And it, I don't know when my defenses got so like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when they locked up so It was so probably heavy. everything. You know, as it, yeah, it's definitely like, yeah, a contribution of a lot of things that happened. But I, I have had groups of friendships where, I have been not saying like, oh, this felt like home, but like I have been able to just be like, okay, relax. I can be completely myself. And then obviously things happen and then it didn't work out or, you know, you end up being like, all right, Mm -hmm. all right. Now it's like, is this the, is this the click? Is this the click? Um, So it's interesting that you guys feel that way, you know, Um, but I can see that where it's like, yeah, like I'm unsettled, Mm -hmm. like, I do question, like yeah, I feel like you have like a like a doubt in your mind, like. But and and, and it's not necessarily about y'all. I think I, I no, I don't. Know. We don't take it personal. No, like, yeah, we, we a, we're aware of it, but yeah. I don't think either of us take it personal. Yeah, I think it's more so me navigating like who I like. Yeah, who I am, who I want to be, who, where do I align, who aligns with me, like, and I'm still, I'm still trying to figure that out because mm-hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I question certain things and I'm just like God does this align with me mm-hmm. you know am I forcing certain things mm-hmm. am I forcing certain friendships am I forcing, forcing certain a lot of things you know what I'm saying so I think that's the, the unsettling yeah because it's like am I in the right you know mm-hmm. I think that's what it is I yeah. think you're so concerned with is this right for me is this towards the vision you have for me God is this where I'm headed and I don't want to get too attached to something because if it isn't, I have to let it go. Exactly. And I don't want to have to deal with that feeling or pressure. So I'm just going to kind of be standoffish just in the case that, that this isn't what you have for me, God. Exactly. And, and, I, and I think about that a lot because I'm very intentional, right? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm very intentional with everything that I do. So sometimes I don't even want, like you said, I don't want to attach myself because if god is gonna ask me to let it go if he's gonna uproot you yeah or like pull me away because there's been times when i have fought against certain things why do i have to leave these people Mm. versus you know what i'm saying like why don't they have you know why doesn't someone else have to leave them why do i keep having 
you keep pulling me up from certain situations and friendships and things like that. Mm -hmm. I think we're veering off far from We are, we are. But, but no, like but it's still the same. But, um, yeah, it's like everything that I do, like I ask God, right? Yeah. Everything. So, like, there's nothing that I want to touch or be a part of that I'm like, God, are you sure mm -hmm. this is what I'm supposed to be doing? And mm -hmm. if it's not, let, let me know. Let me, me know me. ASAP. So when my spirit is like, da -da -da -da, I have a lot of questions. Like, is this you, God? Why is there so much confusion, right? If it's supposed, if it's you, it's not supposed to come with confusion, right? When mm -hmm. it comes to confusion, we know who the author of that mm -hmm. is. So it's like, okay, where's the confusion? Is it me or is it mm -hmm. because I'm trying to be somewhere I'm not supposed to be? Yeah. So that's where I'm always conflicted, I feel like. I feel myself. that. I feel that. That makes mm -hmm. absolute sense. Um, I find it interesting I don't want to veer off but I mm -hmm. want to like retouch this conversation with you because like two things came into mind but then it's just going to take us to a whole different damn it I'm moving with intention ah <laughs> that's the one maybe we we'll talk about, about it there, well, there. yeah that's nice maybe we'll talk about it there yeah. I hope not I hope I don't forget what I'm what I want to say to you though yeah okay so mm -hmm. question <laughs> do you think that one of those energy traits are more powerful than the other in our lives per se, or you mean like to society? Okay, let's let's go societal, societal and then for yourself. As far as mask and femme? Yeah, do you think a masculine energy is more powerful than a feminine energy? Do you think a feminine energy is more powerful than a masculine energy? Do, do they compete? Does one win? I think to society, the masculine energy is definitely more powerful. Hmm. They, they make it. Yeah, they make it more powerful. You know, they always say the men, the men, the men, the men, which is... Mm -hmm. automatically tying obviously masculinity to a gender mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know but society does you right know, even if we know beyond our years and all this stuff you know society does paint men as masculine mm -hmm. and i feel like they do think that men are better or more powerful mm -hmm. or should be in charge but i do think that there's a reason that they want to press that narrative so heavily and i think it's because they know that the feminine power is actually mm -hmm. way more powerful mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because we give life Mm -hmm. that's yeah that's the most powerful yeah. thing this ever. is the portal this right is here. the portal we, yes. we have the portal to your life <laughs> so they have to press the the masculine energy they i think i think there's i don't really know but i think there's like a, like a super deep dark reason that they do this mm. hidden no conspiracy right? no, no but conspiracy cons you know but a little conspiracy <laughs> at the same little. time so would you say that societal, you think masculine is what is what the world roots for, um, but you in your personal life, you say you believe feminine is actually the more powerful one? I think so, because I, like I said, I've been operating with a masculine energy, I feel like, mm. most of my life. And I feel like there is this yearning to want to be feminine, and there is a reason for it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I feel mm. like this constant striving, achieving, pushing has been tiring and exhausting. And I think if I rest in my feminine or anybody or everyone, even men, in the just being, right, like the Google said, there's something more powerful that comes with being just relaxed and mm. surrendering. Because with feminine, it's just surrender. It's right? a receiving. Mm -hmm. It's a receiving. That's the feminine. The masculine mm. is not receiving. It's They're achieving. It's getting. Mm. So I feel like if we all rested in the femininity with no genders, what could we allow God to do in our lives? Mm. You know? Yeah. It's almost like the masculine energy is hindering, in your life. In my life, at least, hindering, yeah. I feel like. Hindering you from reaching a potential you yeah. have yet to accomplish or exactly. to fulfill. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that spoke to me. How about you? Mm. What do you think? Um, you think one is more powerful? I mean, same as far as, like, society definitely paints masculinity as being you know powerful stronger you know machismo mm. culture yeah. and but yeah there there there's definitely a reason they they they're trying to keep us down hold us down and then control us and you know we don't have rights to our bodies and all this bullshit right. because why why are uh, why are they trying to have so much control there's an agenda all the time but um I definitely also feel like we, I mean, pussy is power. I'm sorry. <laughs> pussy is power. <laughs> you know, what did, who said it? I think it was Betty White. I'm not sure who said it. He, she, said, she said, she um, said, 
why why have I don't I don't have balls. It's it's not about having the balls to do something. But balls are weak. Balls are weak. It's it's pussy that's strong. That shit can really take a pounding. You know? Oh, oh my God, that's so <laughs> <laughs> might have to beep it out it's true no it's true, <laughs> no, but it's, true. true. <laughs> it's like you men talk about yeah or you ain't got the balls but it's, it's about having the because that shit is that shit takes a pounding that's hilarious <laughs> i'm so weak that's so funny that's and that just stuck with me like hmm they have a point there but yeah. you know is so fragile but but you know, yeah, yeah <laughs> and uh, and but like you know, not to get completely off topic, but like, <laughs> but yes, it's like we're just talking we about sex give, now. <laughs> we 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 take it, we take it, we'll take, we take the poundings, we take the beat downs, not just not just down there, but here mm. we take so much shit from from the masculine, from men, mm -hmm. from men, just daily, like like whether it's emotional or or physical you know like like we are taking it we are taking it we are receiving it but at the same time we're the ones that are giving the life we are bringing life like and and it's just and look at i mean mother nature mother nature is feminine yeah mother nature is all around us mother nature is the it's where we live it's where we reside in mother nature like mm -hmm. before before we had to put clothes on and shit. Yeah. But also you can't have one without the other too. Yeah. So I'm not saying like, oh, you know, we, we, it's women are all end all be all, you know, but, but I also feel like God, God can be both. I, I, when they, when, you know, I know we always speak of God being he and da, 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 but who's to say God can be a woman. God can be, it the, could be both. Who yeah, knows? But God is, yeah, he's an energy. He's so an energy. Like he, he's it could be both. masculine he's and yeah. feminine. I, I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. I, I, I agree with that. I think I think that you need them both. I think that they, there's a reason they both exist. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, one person may present more with with an energy versus the other, but you're so needing of them both. And if you can't pull the other energy from within yourself... I think it's important to surround yourself with people who have the opposite energy and that you can trust in that to help guide and, and navigate the direction you're looking to go in. Because to be solely masculine without a feminine trait, how far can you actually go? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And to be so feminine without masculine traits, how far can you actually go? So it's like, me, me I feel so... Again, it, it almost feels so 50-50 within myself. Mm -hmm. It's like the weirdest thing. Um, but I would love to find someone who when one day one is leading more can also have that other balance and then, or versus the other, you know, like I, there has to be such a trusting, right? Because it, you could be so feminine and then it turns into something else where it becomes weaponized or masculinity can become weaponized. It's like, how do you allow those traits to exist and trust that they are flowing within good energy and it comes from the source that it's coming from? Mm -hmm. Is it coming from a place of love? Is it coming from a place of peace? Is it coming from a place of progression and forward movement rather than control and manipulation, mm -hmm. right? Um, but if, you, if we can find, if one, you can raise yourself up to have that natural flow of energy and then find... The, a person with the opposite natural flow of energy. I think that something beautiful can really happen and be created. Mm. So it's, I don't think one is better than the yeah. other. I think mm -hmm. they're just so needing of each other. And mm -hmm. if we could lean on each other for whatever you don't have, yeah. I think that the world could just really go forward in a better way. Yeah. But it's hard because the older you get, the more shit you go through, the mm. more tainted experiences you have. So then the more guard you start to have, the more pushback you start to have and so then now you're trusting and, and you're questioning and you're doubting and you're unsure and all these things that you have to break through to then get back to a place of when you were a child when you just naturally trusted your own energy and those that came around yeah. you know what I mean like I want to get back to that place yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. you know yeah you didn't really question it and when when you when you met a new kid you didn't question them 
Yeah, you're just curious. You're just curious, and it was just this natural flow. It was like, oh, you can't pick that up? I will, whether it was a boy or a girl doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to play with this? Cool. I want to play with you, too, because you're cool. Yeah. Like, there was no, like, what's your hidden agenda? Mm -hmm. You know, ooh, I don't like that you did that because you're a girl or you're a guy. It's like there was just this natural flow of each other's energies. Yeah. And then society makes you feel like, you can't not not know you right. gotta be more like this you they're know? trying to separate us guys don't let them separate yeah. us and like it's absolutely okay if one energy presents itself more and you're not of the gender that society claims should have that energy mm -hmm. and, and i don't think we should judge someone for that yeah you know and it has nothing to do with sexuality mm -hmm. i think they take femininity masculinity compare it to gender and then they compare it to sexuality and it's like the, why are we so limiting on these boxes? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like God is limitless. Mm -hmm. It can be, God just creates. Who are you to say that this was created completely wrong? Mm -hmm. You have no idea. Yeah. What if it was created perfect mm -hmm. to present an example that mm -hmm. needed to wake you up? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You like, ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. I don't got the answers. No one has the answers. <laughs> it's just like why can't we just be and allow people to be? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so. At what point do you guys think that? Um, Femininity becomes manipulation, mm. where it becomes, you know, toxic femininity. Mm, that's a good one. Perhaps have when you, you actually... Have you what? I was going to say, have you ever used your femininity to manipulate? Like, can you think of a time when you've used that to manipulate someone? I don't think I've. Well, let me not say that because I'm gonna be like, actually, you did. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she's like, I never. <laughs> I have never. Uh, not you purposely. Know, not purposely, but I think if it it had to be. If anything, I feel like it would be to be like, oh, you're the man of the house. You do this. Mm. I'm the woman of the house, so I should be doing this. I feel like that's pretty toxic because then it's like, no, actually, we should all just be doing shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I think I in in if that's the way the if that's what the question means, that's the way that yeah. I can think about it, that's where it's actually play, placing your gender on what you should be doing because of society. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, can you define femininity and masculinity one more time for me? Yeah, so the masculine energies, the doing, the achieving molded by logic reason feminine is more intuitive oriented towards receiving allowing being these energies are balanced when they are balanced we experience a greater sense of harmony and fulfillment mm. Mm -hmm. and facts yeah. the <laughs> harmony that we miss in. yeah harmony i love that word um have i in the question was have i used my femininity to to manipulate mm -hmm. yeah As well to, at what point is it manipulation have you used it for manipulation at what point it's manipulation is potentially if you are coming with the intent to control an outcome right with an agenda to control an mm -hmm. outcome and if you're using the feminine or masculine trait to to force the outcome to be in the expectation you have for yourself without the care of anyone else is when it becomes manipulation mm -hmm. on either side of the spectrum mm -hmm. i think that feminine energy just manipulates in a different way than masculine energy i think masculine energy comes a little bit more forceful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. femininity femininity may come a little bit more um uh sly mm -hmm. a little bit more um you know mm -hmm. <laughs> A little smarter, but right, 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 right. <laughs> not that not that it, one is, is smarter. I'm just saying, like feminine energy is, is so sly. Yeah, yeah. If if it has an, an agenda to control, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have I ever done that? I can't say I've never done that. I don't think I've done it intentionally, except once I did. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, once I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, and we've talked about it in, in a previous episode. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was me testing myself mm -hmm. and I and I know I shouldn't have done it and I and I don't think I ever will because I don't like to be a bad person <laughs> yeah and I own up to it yeah mm -hmm. but um yeah I think I think it always falls down to the intention right God always says it in, you know in the scripture too it's like he doesn't look at the outward of what someone is doing necessarily it's the intention of the heart because we're gonna fall short period 
We're mm-hmm. human. We mm-hmm. are imperfect beings. But what is what is the intention that is leading the choices that you make? And mm-hmm. if that intention is rooted from a place of evil, then um, there's a problem. Yeah. But if there is no evil and ill intent, then there's just a um, awareness that needs to be learned. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked a little bit about me and my my family and mm-hmm. how it's molded my femininity and masculinity. But ha- have you guys? felt like your upbringing has molded your masculine and feminine en- energies at all? Mm-hmm. I mean, kind of similar to what you were saying when sh- uh, you said you've always kind of been on, like, survival mode mm-hmm. growing up. I feel like there were there were many times throughout my childhood probably moving houses back and forth between my tia, my grandma, and my yeah. mom. Like, I was all over the place as a kid growing up, like, switching schools every year. And that made me feel kind of very similar to what you were saying, like always kind of like on survival, on edge, on like, like, okay, should, am I going to stay here? Where is this home? I don't know. Should Like, do I get comfortable? Constantly having to also just adapt to a new environment every time. And, you know, it, it helps. It's helped as an adult. Thank God it came in handy with adapting. And, and, and I use that for acting. But... But it's also made me very much, I feel like, growing up, like, kind of in my masculine Mm -hmm. to where I also felt like I wasn't very girly. I was even today. Sometimes I question it. And there was like a guy had there was a guy that I was kind of dating, I guess. He 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 was looking at my closet and and (laughs) he was uh, he's like, you have a lot of girly things. I love it. Like, you're very like looking at my clothes. I'm like, I do. You think I'm girly? He's like, oh, yeah, you're so girly. I, I love it. I'm like, you are, you are. Girly. Am I? Yes. I'm like, I literally was like questioning. I'm you're like, extremely I'm girly. girly. Yeah, yeah. You're really girly. It's so funny. Like, I, it comes out like, when we're like, oh, we're gonna go work out, and it's like what you wear versus like what me and E would wear, or like, oh, we're gonna go to the grocery store. What you wear versus what me and E would wear is very. Ethan be working out. No, no, cute. not that she's <laughs> looking cute. Hey, when not, she not that out. she doesn't have moments where she does work out cute. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not saying that she doesn't. I'm just saying, like, I think. In more cases than not, you'll come more feminine to, to certain mm-hmm. things than than I or or Efren will. Yeah. yeah. As far as far as the societal, right, you know, right, 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 structure of what it is. There's nothing wrong with it. It's yeah. just natural. Well, that's, that's so funny because so so you're saying you guys definitely think I'm feminine. So I, I don't know. It's just funny. I mean, <laughs> I, like you I guess, but, but but you're the you're 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 a, a different feminine than what I've experienced. That's made me feel insecure about whether I'm a feminine enough or not. Mm. You're not feminine to the sense of like, like super dainty and like woe is me. Not no, I don't even want to say that femininity is woe is me. Yeah, sorry, that's not what I mean. But like you know, dainty. I re- completely receiving is what I should say. Completely receiving. I don't need to do, I don't, I'm not going to do much. I'm receiving most. Yeah. It's feminine energy. I nurture and receive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't, you're not that in that way. You don't think I'm dainty, bro? Whoa. I see turn the man. Holy shit. Um, Jazz, <laughs> Jazz, are you, <laughs> hey, Jazz, are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> she left. <laughs> Jazz, are you still here? Um, no, I think that you're feminine in, how you present this is what i was gonna say before y'all both when i first met y'all i felt like y'all both present more feminine mm. present more feminine yeah but and i don't then, feel like i really and am then when behind. i get to know you yeah. i see how there is a masculine nature within you both that i didn't realize was there mm. until i actually got t- tighter with you which is what made me feel more comfortable mm-hmm. i was like oh cool, okay i could be a little more okay, cool. yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> like it, it made me feel a lot more comfortable so you're like you're definitely not so feminine that yeah. that you're like unable to relate to a masculine energy no yeah, yeah. I, I feel like i've definitely related to both i mean i i'm still learning how to do my makeup <laughs> like I, i'm i'm that's how ungirly i be feeling i'm like okay so how you contour how you do this <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to get my femininity together yeah. <laughs> even when it comes to fashion i be feeling like i'm not like femininely fashion enough and then i'd be asking y'all for help <laughs> yeah but I, I don't think that i think that's more so probably because you still don't know how to maybe like just be super fashionable yet versus it being that you're not girly enough yeah because i feel like you have you're very girly i feel like, yeah i feel like you're just super girly yeah but maybe you just haven't learned yet how to be how to fashionable because yeah. fashionable sometimes that is a talent Within your fashion, yeah, that's a talent. Within that's your fashion, not my forte. Yeah, within, <laughs> within your fashion, you present more feminine. Yeah. and as you learn how to 
be more fashionable, I think it'll continue to lead in a feminine way. Exactly, yeah, mm. for sure, 100%. I think what also helped with my femininity is seeing my mom, the times that I did grow up with her, she was always very fashionable. She, was, she always had like, oh, you know, Coco's clothes, she's got so much style and she always had compliments. So, so I always looked at her, like I would wear my mom's clothes when I was too small to fit in them and, and her heels. And I always like, you know, I, like I want to be a woman. Like, like yeah. it was inspiring to see her. Mm-hmm. And like, I remember like she had me take photos of her in her bikini and I was just like, oh my gosh, my mom's so pretty. Oh and like, gosh. and it just inspired me to be a woman. Yes. Yeah. And she was very cariñosa with me too. Like she always like do like play with my hair and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I, I loved that. Mm-hmm. And that made me get in touch with my feminine side for sure I think. yeah yeah i love that yeah yeah i love that she was like that do you yeah. do you have um memories of when you saw something and you latched onto a masculine energy or saw something and latched onto a feminine energy how she just described um i do i was actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um i think i latched on more to my feminine to my masculine energy also because growing up my my mom dressed me and my sister one first, my dad used to dress me like a little boy. And really? He did. he did. He wanted a you little boy. You got photos? Boy. So yeah, I have photos. So I was just always in baggy little boy, like little kid clothes. It's like, he brought us the worst of worst sketchers, like stuff like, he did buy us Jordans and stuff like that, but he wanted a boy, I think. And he didn't want us to dress a certain way. So, but my mother used to dress me and my sister like twins. Hilarious. So we would always have the same fit. We're not twins, we're a year and eight months apart. <laughs> She's like, for the you record, know. you know, and I remember us, she claims that I'm the one that wear pink and my little sister's the one that wear blue. I remember it the other way around, but she says it was, I did wear pink and my little sister wear blue. So I think at some point I hated being dressed like a twin so bad that I became the, I need to be like the masculine one mm. because my sister, who's the one that got the blues and the purple version of the twin sets. Mm-hmm she's a sequin girl she's the fashion she girl. Is. she's like the you've seen her she's yeah. like the pin straight hair she's like the kardashian <laughs> like the little black kardashian <laughs> she is you know we so love her she's so she, cute it's d- interesting because of her perspective of it growing up have you guys ever talked about that we briefly touched on it we we couldn't agree on some certain things and so we haven't touched back on it i want to touch back on it with yeah. her to see how she we should bring her on the podcast, bring on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know she'll do it but um yeah i think that like that memory of like always dressing us like twins and i think that's probably when i started oh shit that <laughs> you need a back girl you got a back girl i got a back <laughs> You need an eraser. <laughs> yeah, what you need? <laughs> I think that's honestly probably when I started to hate pink. Oh, wow. Because of how much you try to make us twins. Did you, you wanted to be an individual so much. I wanted to be an individual so much and you kept making us, dude, we're not the same age. Yeah. You know, like she, my sister had the sweet 16 and my mom wanted to have it together. We're a year and eight I'm months bad. apart. I'm sad. <laughs> She wanted twins so bad. So basically, no, she just didn't want, I guess she probably just didn't want to pay. For yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. you turning 16. Y'all both turning, yeah, turning 16. Z- exactly. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm going to be 17. <laughs> almost turning 18 by this point. But yeah, I think that memory of that. And then my, and like growing up, my dad was always monitoring what I'm wearing. So like I would go to Catholic school and have, he would buy the skirts that went all the way down here. Yeah, because he didn't want nobody to sexualize He didn't know. want nobody to sexualize him, but mm-hmm. what he didn't know was when I was getting to school, I was rolling for that sure, thing up. For sure. <laughs> so my skirt was here by, the, by <laughs> during the whole school day. Mm-hmm. When I, when I saw my father was pulling up, I never knew when he was pulling up. So roll, 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 roll down. And then it would be like parent-teacher conference, and then the people were like, wait, that's not the skirt <laughs> you had on. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> and it was kind of like how you said, like where they, well, your stepmom, you said like not let you just do certain feminine things. And it's like, I would try to be, my dad saw me putting on makeup. What are you putting on makeup for? You're for going sure. to school. You, I'm wearing colored content. Take those things, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I really couldn't be as feminine as you wanted yeah, to Yeah, I mean, be. I was feminine. I right. was more feminine way back when I would say for sure. Like then like I would try yeah. to school to fit. I mean, I was, I always hung out with the popular kids. I was one of the popular kids. Oh, you school. heard yours? I was. was. <laughs> you know, I was. Popular. Okay, Miss Popular. I was, I was with the popular kids. So I was always like trying to make sure, you know, like, yeah, I stay cute and stuff like that. But my energy was always mass. I feel like, like I, you know, I remember a time for me where like the first time I understood this term, 
I don't even know how the conversation got brought up, but I'm, I'm like putting clothes on, and then I, you know, you hear the adults talking. And I don't even know how they got to this topic, but they're like, no, yeah, yeah, see, she is a tomboy, you know? And I just remember hearing that. And I was just like, huh? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you are, you're a tomboy. And, I, and like, I remember being told I'm a tomboy. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't want to, like, I don't want to be a tomboy. I didn't know that I was. Mm -hmm. Like, it was Did like- Did you even know what it was, though? I didn't even know what it was. And then when they, you they explained like it, it to me- they said, boy. boy and then when it was explained to me, I was so I was mad that that's what I was. Mm. And then and then it was and then someone helped me like, oh, but it's not, it's not bad. Like you like this, you like. And I was like, okay, yeah, I do like those things. So maybe it isn't bad. But mm. I remember being like like defined for the first time, and I remember that feeling, and not liking that feeling. Mm. And then I remember also like seeing my stepmom put like lipstick on and I, me being like wow like I can't wait to put makeup on I was afraid to ask if I could shave my legs oh yeah my you know like I was afraid to do anything can I can I put nail polish on I was so afraid to express any feminine thing mm. because of, of, of how like no like I was I made my sister ask my my stepmom yeah I said you ask her for me yeah you you've know? been deprived of your femininity yeah. girl yeah. and then I, when I would go visit my mom because, you know, I didn't grow up with my mom, my, my birth mom, when I would visit her. Oh, man, I was obsessed with her feminine energy. Yeah. I adored her feminine energy. I, re I have memories of, like, driving down from Jersey to Florida, like, you know, her in the car singing her heart out to Alicia Keys. And I'm like, it's the middle of the night. And I just, mm -hmm. like, wake up and look over. My mom's so beautiful just expressing herself. And I'm just like, I want to be that. Mm -hmm. You know? Or, like, she'd be like, Chachi. She calls me Chachi. You know, like, Chachi, I'm going to go take a bath. Or, like, or, or she'll be in the bath and be like, Chachi, can you pass me? And then, like, seeing her naked. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, wow, like, a woman. Like, I can't wait to be a woman. Mm -hmm. You know? Or she'd be like, you know, I'm going to put a movie on. I'm going to go out with the girls. Like, and I see her get dressed up and put her heels on and look so so beautiful yeah i was like i can't wait to go out with my girls and look beautiful like <laughs> just my mom made me want to be so feminine not, not that i like it wasn't of me it, it inspired me mm -hmm. it, it it created a desire Same. to express that mm -hmm. and every time i would come back from my mom i wasn't allowed to uh, i wasn't yeah, allowed yeah. to express wow. it yeah but like i definitely feel like those moments were engraved in me so when I had the chance to express them, I feel like I am very much my mom in such a feminine energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm very much my dad in a masculine energy. Mm. I'm very much the both of them. Yeah, same. And I like, would say the same. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. really weird. And like I'm told I look almost 50-50 than both, which is mm. interesting. I look oh, wow. so equally like you both and I, and I act too. so equally like you both. Mm. So weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My dad gave me a mullet when I was five. <laughs> Where's right. the photos? No. I need to ah. see these photos. I want photos of you dressed like a little boy <laughs> and you with a mullet. I need these photos. I was so mad. And, you know, I asked him later as an adult because, you know, that was later. That was when I lived with him and I hadn't seen him for like, I don't know, 15, 20 years or something. And I was like, why did you give me that mullet when I was five? Why would you do that to me? I was a little girl. And he's Hilarious. like, oh, I, I thought it was, I thought it was cute. <laughs> I thought, I, I thought it was kind of cool. It was different. He, he had a cute. young boy on his. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a boy. He was, I think he wanted a boy. I think, I think dads just are afraid of their daughters being sexualized, so they just like. But I was fine. You know, like you know, was that's true? Because my father used to, honestly, this is kind of maybe TMI. He used to make me put powder in my, in my panties. Did you guys have to put powders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't to, get what that was about. Dry. Well, I don't know that was. It ne wasn't to keep it dry. I don't think that was the necessary. Well, what age was he telling you to do this? Hold on. This is like all the way up until like I was like a, a teenager. Oh, like oh. when you're a teenager at 13, so yeah. it had to be maybe up to like 10, 11. I mean, is my, that okay for your pH? Like, it's definitely not. Enough. And also, baby powder, the one that you was using back then, had had a lot of. Oh, we know, we no. all know. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there's a, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of you know talc and it you was know like, put powder in there. And yeah, like, yeah, that's not good for you. And now thinking back, I'm like, is it because you wanted to keep me dry? So no, like, guys definitely can't not. Why? What, what <laughs> definitely was not. the point? No, older? My, yeah, older. My grandma, my grandma, when she, because my grandma was who taught me how to bathe myself and get myself dressed, mm. and that was part of the routine. Yeah, put powder. Like that was like so make it smell good odor yeah like oh, okay so it's odor it was odor I mean, but you could also call him and ask just to be sure 
<laughs> I'm not calling my dad. <laughs> Yo, you remember when you had me put baby powder in my panties, my, dad? <laughs> my dad sends a picture today in the family group chat. Oh, I want to see. And it's like, yeah, it's him. He's like t- maybe 12, 13. And he's like this. Yeah. And no, you're like, I, I look just like I was you. like, um, <laughs> were you mad here too? <laughs> Thanks. So you were always mad, huh, dad? <laughs> <laughs> you no know, response. <laughs> No response oh, whatsoever. Man. But it was like, wow, you really have been mad all your life. And wow. Like, <laughs> I wish y'all watch. If you're listening to this, please tune in to the visuals. Because I, I, I need y'all to count in the comments how many times our earring falls no, out. The earring is saying, you are not supposed to be in your femme. Stay in your mask. Um, we, no earrings. Stood. <laughs> it's so funny. Wait, so you guys would say... More mask, more femme, in between. What do you think? What do y'all think? You're That's just how I mask. feel. I'm more mask. I Your say, energy I, is more mask. I'm more mask presenting. I'm not saying, yeah, mask presenting. But I feel like, yes, you do dress like feminine. You know yeah. how to be soft. You know how to be vulnerable. You yeah. do know how to be a feminine. Like, be feminine. Yeah. But your energy presenting is definitely Ex- when I'm out mask. In, when I'm out in the world, that's just what it is. Yeah. I, just, I have to accept okay Like, I don't, I may have days where I want to present feminine to the world, but mm-hmm. like, I think the presenting of it comes from the martial arts and, and, everything, and yeah. being a leader and being, you know, the leader of my, even in my family, my, my siblings, I was the one yeah. taking so, care of everything. So you're saying mask is more leadership than is femininity, not leadership, not leader at all. This is not con- technically, I guess. According to those definitions, they aren't. I, I don't like that that that's what it is Mm -hmm. because I feel like why can't I be feminine and a leader but I guess I guess if we're trying just to understand the energies according to Google I think it says that yeah and you know and like biblically speaking well this goes by gender yeah like they would always say I don't even know if it's biblical but I would hear pastors say this all the time like you know you know like the man is the head of the household you know what I mean and like I would always say well the woman is the neck Mm mm-hmm and the man can't, the head can't go nowhere without the neck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, and it's like, yeah, you can logically lead, but you need the intuition to know which way to go. Right. Yeah. You Behind know I mean? every, what is it? Behind every man, leader, there's yeah, his wife know. who is. Behind every strong man is, is a, a really, even really more powerful woman. Right. Right. There's like the, the saying. Like and there's yeah. something like that. Yeah. I just think you need <laughs> both energies. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I think I present the world masculine. Because when you're in the house, you're like, <laughs> just chilling. Chilly so, what do y'all think makes a man feminine? Um, I guess the definition you described: <laughs> intuition, in touch with his feelings and emotions, vulner- emotions. vulnerable, probably. Right. But I, I. But a man being feminine or having a feminine energy, I think he needs to have a healthy balance of it. I, I feel like every. Even every masculine macho man should have some feminine energy in them yeah. and, and get in touch with that. I find it very attractive when a man can own their femininity. Mm, when yes. a man is comfortable in their femininity, that shit is sexy. And like, look not- at Bad Bunny. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, Maybe I'm not that comfortable <laughs> with that. I, I'm like, you, could, you, you don't have to put the skirt on. Don't you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Maybe no, that's extreme, you but you know what I mean. No, no, no. <laughs> No, and, 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 and not that part. No, no yeah. In my in, in in my the way I would describe a sexy man owning their femininity is being able to be emotional, being able to be vulnerable, being able to um, be be or, or let even let me lead something. You know when yeah. it, when it's like now, nah, baby, you got it. Like or just 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 being comfortable. I think it's actually so masculine. To it do is. those yeah, things, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I it makes like, you even more masculine. Yeah, yeah, and it makes me even more attracted. Like, that's what makes me go like, oh, I want to jump on you. You know what I mean? Like, I I actually am more turned off by someone who's so pseudo-masculine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get turned off. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That Like, yeah. if it's just like on some, like, I'm, I'm the man, man I do this, man. I know everything. Mm-hmm. I know, trust me, baby, you know I got it. It's like, I want to trust you, and I want you to have it. But you don't sound like you have it. Mm-hmm. You sound yeah. like your ego has yeah. it. And yeah. your ego is not my amigo. Yeah. Okay? It's not my amigo. <laughs> it's not <laughs> my amigo. Like, it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I'm just like, when a man can just own, I don't know everything. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to I got us. Mm-hmm. Trust. And I see the work that you're putting in, in trying and being the best leader that you can possibly be. But a man who can be like, baby, I need your help. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what I should do. I need you to help. That shit is sexy to me. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh really my sexy. goodness. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even a woman too, like a woman who's in her masculine, who's ambitious and hungry and like I think I actually am like, wow, someone who has such a healthy balance of both is what I'm actually more most attracted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe but that's it's about having mean. both though. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, you know. But I definitely want a man to have more masculinity. And oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a woman to have more femininity. Yeah. I don't think that they need to be attached to gender. This is my personal preference. Yeah. I, I'm 100% okay with a man being feminine or, or a woman being masculine. I know that I'm just not naturally leaned and attracted towards that. Yeah, you know exactly. But I, I'm, I fuck with it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what makes a woman <laughs> masculine? And think? I think it's going back to what she says. It's like leadership achieving striving being ambitious mm. kind of like all the things we're doing chasing yeah. a dream you know go planning. going go-getters yeah, yeah. hustlers i want to get more in touch with that part of my masculinity I, as far as like leadership mm-hmm. i'm i'm feel like i'm becoming more comfortable with it now the more i like collaborate with people and like the projects that i've directed and things like that like just being more comfortable in my masculine to trust myself and know Mm. like I can be a leader I can do that like just because I'm so soft doesn't mean I can't be like a hard ass and and, you know and yeah yeah wear the pants and yeah yeah, like I could do both you can Mm -hmm. you take your feminine energy as the trust Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you're incredible to take anything that you desire and create that that feminine energy that, that, that discerning that intuitive trust is what allows me to know what I'm leading is right. Mm-hmm. And then I take my masculine energy to create the plan, mm-hmm. to create the logical plan according to this human experience that we have to abide by. Mm-hmm. And then I create the plan. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel confident leading without my feminine energy. Right. 100, like I feel I, like I'm, a, I'm 10 times of a better leader when I'm feminine. Yeah. But I am great at execution because of my masculinity exactly mm-hmm. you know it's interesting yeah would you say you have big dick energy <laughs> <laughs> what, what what is, is what is bd yeah what what is big dick energy hmm interesting let's what is it? google it <laughs> <laughs> let's, google. let's google it that's what hilarious i would say you do me i feel like big dick energy um can be a bad thing, no? Isn't it a bad thing? Is that a I good guess thing or a bad could, thing? It could be. I guess it's, it's perception. I heard that if someone has big dick energy, it's because they probably have a small. Someone with, <laughs> with big dick energy is someone with a relaxed confidence in themselves. They're not oh, shy or quiet, yeah, but yeah. they're not arrogant either. Yeah. And they're certainly not overcompensating for anything. If you have big dick energy, you might walk with a bit of an attitude, but it's not try hard. Oh, okay, okay. That's it's the opposite. It's not arrogant. That's yeah. the opposite. It's just the person, like confident in yourself. The mm. person who's arrogant is the one who has the small one, right? The one yeah. who's overcompensating. The That's Napoleon more so complex. little dick energy. Napoleon yeah. complex yeah. is the little Yeah, Napoleon dick. complex is different. Yeah, it's yeah, little yeah, dick yeah. energy. Okay, so BDE is more so you ain't even got to show out. You're chilling because you know you got it. And I love a man who has that. Same. Mm-hmm. Like, love just it. natural. Just be chill. Yeah, you don't got to show out Nothing. or be like... Overpresent. There's yeah. nothing you have to do in this space yeah. mm-hmm. to show who you are. Right. Because who you are, I'm already questioning because you're over there and your energy is so heavy that yes. I'm like, mm-hmm. who Shows are you? in their yeah. demeanor, their uh, actions. Exactly. That, I think BDE has the femininity behind it is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's yeah, like, it's, like, like the, it's, the it's a relaxance. Repre- it's a, yeah. Yeah. That is the sexiest yeah. thing in the man. Oh my gosh. That's fire. Yeah. So what would be the equivalent to BDE? In a woman? Yeah, would it be type p- <laughs> or no, 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 no it's WAP. Is that TPE? Type energy. 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 What's that? <laughs> she over there. She got that WAP. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. WAP, WAP or T or type? <laughs> type WAP. TPE. TPE. She got that TPE over there. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Type. Type. Yeah, or is it WAP? What? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, We're, we're going to coin be. it. I don't know. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure it out, yeah. Um, because there should be an equivalent. Yeah, so yeah. What, what would For that be? For the femininity. What would it be? What would that look like? And what, is it, what, what do you think it is? For the woman? Yeah, for a woman. I think it would be the same thing in reverse, which in reverse. is like there's a confidence about you. You're not loud. Yeah. You're 
owning people, of the room. You're owning, yeah, you can just own any room you walk in. Your strong energy pussy is energy. Felt. Yeah, TPE. Or, or type SP. of or strong. Type of strong, strong pussy energy. energy. Will someone help, help us? <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure this out. All right, guys. <laughs> From the top, make it drop. Wet ass see. Get a mucky. A bucket. Mucky? <laughs> and a mop. Muck. For this <laughs> wet ass sad <laughs> from the I don't know. I don't know the rest, <laughs> but wop 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 is that how that goes? I don't know. It wop it wop. You guys can't be wop bringing wop these songs wop up. Wop it wop 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 it wop 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 it wop hey wop it wop 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 it wop. Wop it wop drip drip drop drip bitty drip drop a wop it wop wop it wop. Drip 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 all right, guys, that was a great episode. I think we touched on some great things, some great topics. I feel like we impacted some people today. I think com- so, too. This conversation, so. Yeah. Y'all impacted me, so thank yeah. you. Love y'all. Bye. Love y'all. Yeah.